Families who fled violence after a series of attacks and killings in Baringo County have been camping at Moinoin. Since February, displaced families have sought shelter in fragile structures that they now call home. This small tent is Nelly Chelanga and her young families about for the moment. Nelly fled her village in Kagir after suspected bandits ambushed her neighborhood in March. My bandits were to family. I pick up my mother to go to the house to go to the house to go to Heavily pregnant, she and her five children walked several kilometers to Moinoin, a camp for displaced persons. They arrived tired, hungry, and without any possessions. Mission. The living conditions aren't the best. A few meters away, we meet 21-year-old Melvin Kibet. She cuddles her one-month-old infant, whom she refers as a miracle baby. Melvin was living in Kagir village when she was forced to flee and seek refuge at the IDP camp. <laughs> She walked for more than five hours and arrived at the camp in an advanced stage of labor. Hilda Kiptui is among dozens of residents who fled their homes after bandits attacked Ngaratuko village in Baringo, North Sub County. When bandits struck, she had just given birth. Confused and helpless, the mother of six was stranded. Hilda says life is getting unbearable. She no longer sleeps well in the tent as it leaks in water when it rains. Mothers and children, the most vulnerable in this crisis, huddle together, their faces etched with worry. The weather here doesn't make the situation in the camps any better. It's been raining heavily the last few weeks. That has become a challenge for the women and children who have to breathe through the cold nights. This is just a representation of a larger humanitarian crisis gripping the North Rift region where banditry has forced thousands of people to flee their homes. The displaced families are now residing in IDP camps, but the ongoing rains have made life more miserable. <laughs> Hakuna chakula, hakuna mahali penye utaenda, ndio upate risiki ya kulisha watoto. Hata watoto kupata masiwa hakuna. Kaa kwa challenges mingi hata hata wakongwe wa fly na tuko naye hapa. Wakati wa kukimbia ilikuwa shida sana. Najua watu kikana maana hii kuna shida mingi. Hapa cha na menyesha hii watu hata mtu kuna ungwa yake kidogo ya kupika na pigia wapi? Tena mbua sasa inaanza. Lactating mothers and children sleep in this tent. Etched in their hearts is the fear of losing their children to the cold hands of death, ravaging their camps as healthcare is a scarce commodity. Sida uparidi, watoto wanashikwa na pneumonia. Mablangita hatuna. Ni tunaralia tunatandika tu leso chini tangu mtotangu ni saliwa. 
alikuwa na miezi moja lakini saa anasumbuliwa na omo kidogo anapona kidogo na ni kama tu outbreak ya omo kwa watoto wote wanakooa mwingine akimaliza kupona mwingine anakooa tunataka tu kama serikali inataka kusaidia aletea sata matris aleta net The fear of a looming cholera and malaria outbreak hangs in the air, a consequence of the overcrowding and poor sanitary conditions caused by the downpour. Many living in camps say they would love to get back home and do life as they did in the past. Sasa tunaambiwa tutarudi nyumbani na kurudi nyumbani huko hakuna security. Baada wa kwara wa gogo hata manyumba setu simepoa simechukuliwa yote. Sasa sisi kienda huko tutaenda kwa kwanza wapi maisha. Na kila kitu hakuna hata gikombe hakuna nini ni yenye tarudisha huko na sijaona tofauti eri unjawi kuwe kuliko pundiku kuwe tena wengi wamekuwa wachana wengi watoto wao wameuliwa dia somo tuambie tumeweka jeshi tumeweka NBR sasa kuna tofauti tangu waweka watu kuna tofauti kana na sasa pande wanaingia mpaka sasa hii tunataka tu ato pundiki peke yake pundiki ni saidi ya 1000 Four locations in Baringo North are deserted with 2700 families displaced and 17 people killed since the beginning of the year. More than 19 schools were closed prematurely before the end of term 1 of 2024 when pupils failed to turn up for classes due to migration to safer areas. Hata watoto wa shule wako sai wa kirandranda. Una sai shule imefunguliwa. So atuchui tutapata wapi hata school fees. Tukikana namna hii The displaced persons fear that the situation could worsen with the continued rains, calling for the government to intervene with speed to avert a disease outbreak. Rosongoi, NTV.